Hello and welcome to the class of 3G codes. So today in this class we are going to discuss about codes which is used in 3G. So as we know that if I have a signal, I'm going to add this signal with some code and the resultant will be spreaded signal because we are working on a spreading technique, spreading technology WCDMA concept, it will be spreaded. And at the receiver end, the code will be removed and I, have, I will have the narrowband signal. Now, what are the codes which are used in third generation? So, in 3G, we are using channelization codes. Codes. And we are using scrambling codes. Uh, in our last class, like we had discussed about spreading, like in CDMA, we are using PN codes and Walsh codes. We can't use the same codes as used in a CDMA technology. So here in this case, we are using channelization codes and scrambling code. So let's discuss about uh, channelization codes first. So these codes are used in direction as both as downlink as well as for uplink. Now these channelization codes are basically basically used to separate various physical channels. That means if I have various channels, I require to separate out the channels. So I can use the channelization code. For example, the cell, I have a UE. Now this is radiating, for example, to channelization code 1, this is sending channelization code 2, channelization code 3, channelization code 4. That means for separating out the various physical channels, we require channelization code so that my channels will be different. As we require channels, uh, codes for channels, for UE identification, for network identification. So, channelization codes are basically used for channel identification so that we can separate out various physical channels. Now, here in this case, we have channelization code 3. That means how we form a co uh, code. For example, I have a code 1. Now, I'm going to spread this. I have to repeat this code again same code repeat and negative of that code so i will form a new code now again one one will be my code first i have to write down the same code then i on upper edge i am going to repeat the same code here negative of that code Now, I will have the four different codes here generated from the same code. Similarly, I can spread it again. Now, here one code I am spread it to. So, spreading vector will be 2. So, here 4, spreading vector will be 4. Spreading vector will be 8. So, this is how channelization codes are spread it signals are spreaded and we are using the codes. This is this forms a tree of the codes that's why called as channelization code code tree. So this is channelization code and channelization codes are basically to separate out the various physical channels. Next codes which are used in the 3G we have scrambling codes. Scrambling codes are applicable in both uplink and downlink. Channel, uh, scrambling codes are applicable in both uplink and downlink. Now these, like user equipment. Now for identification of a user equipment, we require some code. So, for identification of a user equipment, we require a scrambling code. So, if I have two user equipment, I will have two scrambling codes. Or so on up to. So, that means I can say that scrambling code in uplink could be used for user 
identification that means if i require to identify a user i require a scrambling code and each and every user is allocated with one scrambling code and if i say for a downlink that from where the signal is coming that means for in in downlink for identification of cells and sectors so scrambling code in downlink direction could be used for identification of a cells and sector whereas scrambling code in uplink direction is used for user identification whereas Channelization codes are used to separate out the various or to identify the various physical channels. Now these are some 3G codes. Thank you so much.